Gonna get into For Honor, which, judging by traffic for For Honor stories on GameSpot for the past two years, GameSpot yeah. audience really likes For Honor, at least is excited about it or cares a lot about it. Uh, we've been playing it. Rob and I, uh, like I said, Kelly's been busy with Halo Wars 2. Have you played For Honor at all? I have not. Okay. And my first question for you is, I don't care about it at all. I have not been interested. It's not a question. Should, <laughs> should She's not there yet. Should Start I off. be... <laughs> shut up, Mike. Should I, Sorry. Should I be... Um, should I be more interested than I am? Like, should I have this on my radar from what you've played? I'm more interested than I initially was, if okay. that answers your question. Um, okay. Yeah, you were kind of, every time I would mention it even, did you play Barry? You'd be like, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, literally, I've heard yeah. that come out of your mouth. Uh, well, I played the closed alpha back in the day. Okay. Um, and it, it did interest me. But I think now that, I think we kind of want to focus a little more on the story mode during the segment, mm -hmm. but obviously we can talk about the whole game. I think just because story mode is the new thing no one's touched yet. Well, game released yesterday, so I guess people have touched it now. But it was one of those games where it was much deeper than I initially thought, like really deep, uh, in mm -hmm. the sense that there are a lot of things that tutorials won't even tell you or the game might not tell you initially that, you you know, this emergent stuff that comes up as you play more. Okay. Um, if you're looking for just a good story, don't, I mean, I don't, yeah. don't. I, it, is it is it really bad? Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect a great story no, from a game that's multiplayer focused. It's serviceable. With like... It, yeah. For the story mode uh, purposes, so the story mode function is just kind of like a uh, training gown for a multiplayer. It really is, yeah. And it will show you different, you know, you could follow the path of uh, this warden for the knights, mm -hmm. um, then follow the path of a samurai with the samurai and then a viking. And it becomes this, each, you got to you learn new moves in each mission and then it also frames it with this bare bones story, which Rob, you have a, you can't really stand, can you? Yeah, it was kind of, I don't I just wasn't into it. Yeah, where, uh, I'm it, not trying to like dock the game for not having a good story because I didn't expect it all, and it's a multiplayer focused game. So yeah, but I don't. But it's it's almost to the point where it's like painfully cheesy at some parts. Well, yeah, that's the difference. Is it's like I don't. It doesn't have to have a good story, but if the story is so painful that I don't want to get through it, that's another story. That will fall. It's, it's not, not another story. You know I what think I mean? It's that bad, but it is. It's I. It's hard, I have a hard time explaining. It's it. very. It's very. Like I, I, it's, it's testosterone driven. Uh, it's, it's boring. It, for sorry, me, it's, that was loud. For me, no, it's fine. For me, <laughs> right it's here, boring. this scene right here. He says, uh, "He was expecting an army. They sent me." <laughs> oh then, my god! It's just, yeah, no, that's the. I'm, I'm pretty a sure manly verbatim. man doing man things. Just guys yeah. being dudes. Um, just a couple of guys being the, dudes. <laughs> for me, what actually kind of just like takes. Uh, it sounds like minor, but what kind of takes me out of it is the fact that only once so far I've played like the first three. Four chapters of the um, uh, crusade. What is it? Uh, a uh, warden. Excuse me. The warden. Yeah. You don't see anyone's face. You see one. You see the main one the dude's one face, dude, yeah. and it's just it just comes off as just a guy in a VO booth. That's what I keep hearing. Maybe that's because mm. like I, I I really enjoy voice acting for the most part. I'd like to hear good voice acting, mm -hmm. and so when it's just two guys in helmets, I just feel like I'm not. I, I just feel like I'm looking at a talking helmet. Sure. And that gets tiring for me, where I keep seeing two guys. Who aren't looking at each other? <laughs> They're just looking away. From, it's just like it, it nags me. They're cool uh, dudes who can't look each other in the eye. Well, like Sometimes you said, the the a big problem is not with not seeing faces and not having some kind of facial emote. They do these emphatic, dumb gestures all right. the time. Because how else are you going to, you know, visualize someone talking or someone uh, expressing concern or emotion? So you have these. Uh, yeah, exaggerated yeah. arm motions like just, <laughs> I'm going over here. Yeah, I, uh, you can't it's very see what I'm doing, but I'm waving my arms around. It's just, uh, it's Wait, just, can, we, can we cut back to Rob so we can do it one more time? Sorry. <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> Follow me, <laughs> and, or it's like I'm right here, and so <laughs> it just gets. Annoying yeah. for me, and I get tired of that. Yeah, and like uh, we said, I, I don't think any of us were expecting a great story. But in terms but, of the structure of the campaign and how it functions within the game to prep you for multiplayer, I think it's serviceable. Uh, it gets mm -hmm. repetitive when you're just plowing through the, um, the I don't know if you want to call them like creeps, I guess, if you're going to use a MOBA term, uh, plowing through them. But then obviously the game yeah. is at its best when you're fighting another hero unit, which you have to block and parry and use specific attacks against. Uh, and that's where the multiplayer comes in, because those characters are other players. Um, and it, it does a good job prepping you. I would actually recommend if you're playing for the first time, the campaign f serves uh, the story mode. I don't even know if they call it a campaign, but you get what I'm saying. It mm -hmm. does a good job of showing you the ropes for sure, rather than just a bare bone tutorial. And there's like high production value. This game looks really good. 
Yeah, it yeah, seriously does. And it's cool, like going through. I guess again, it's not a riveting. Oh, he's story. got eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a riveting right. story. It's just again, it, it facilitates everything. So the campaign, I would recommend jumping into it first. But uh, I want to talk about the multiplayer. This game is far deeper than I. Th- I think we all were thinking it would be, but it's definitely far deeper than we all initially thought, or a lot of us. It's it's like a. Th- 3D fighting game mixed with these MOBA aspects, which I think are implemented really well. Mm-hmm. It can be intimidating to go up against people because you yeah. have these three block directions, you have these three attack directions, but you also have a heavy attack, a light attack. You have these sh- uh, shield bashes like body slams. You have these drop attacks. It's it's crazy. Like they actually managed to make this multiplayer melee game with kind of modern multiplayer tenets like control zones and whatnot mm-hmm. and MOBA like How- creeps and it works well. I like it. How's the balancing for you so far? Um, In terms of like the character balance? Yeah. It, I think it is balanced in the sense that, you know, you're going up against, ah, oh, shit, I forgot what this Viking he's fighting right now is called. So I believe this is mm. a warden that they're playing as, the Knight's Warden. But you have to read each character differently, and there are telegraphs to certain moves. Each each fight against another player feels like a boss fight almost, this duel, because you can dodge, but you can also block. But you have to block in the right direction, so this, uh, I don't know, there's like a Valkyrie character. I mean, they might be the ones with a spear. They'll be harder to read, but they're faster and do less damage, but they'll be harder to read than a warden might with his two-handed sword. Oh, this isn't a warden. This is a samurai. Sorry. Right. But you can see which side they're holding the sword on, so you see where they're going to attack from, and you can kind of parry it. But, yeah, it feels really balanced in terms of how, you know, this one character is really fast and quick and dodge-based, more of a, you know, kind of like a rogue skirmisher or something, as opposed to this tank character who deals a lot of damage. There's a Valkyrie right there, if I'm not mistaken. It... It feels balanced, and it feels like each character has their own very distinct style, and it feels like every time I go up against one, I'm learning something new every time. Mm-hmm. I'm nowhere near being a good player in this game. Right. People destroy me. It, it's I have like a conflict as I've been playing the campaign or the story mode. It's you know you you know you lock on to a guy and you do that like just like square off, mm-hmm. and uh, a couple times I thought I was actually <laughs> I don't know I, I thought uh, I was in the right mode, but it was actually just AI. But yeah. They put like a clan. Mm-hmm. Tag on it. And I remember uh, just thinking, like, I know this isn't a uh, 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 real person, but man, that'd be intense. Because yeah. you just have these situations. I was, I was watching Matt play for like two minutes, and he was playing online, and it, the teamwork seems real heavy. And that's what's like cool mm-hmm. is that, you know you really want to like have some team chat going because yeah. he he was doing like um, he was up against this one guy. Another dude comes in, so now it's 2v1, and in those situations, you're just, you're really on a retreat. You're just all defense. So he just lured these guys into a hallway, and then came out, and his buddy was there. One of the uh, the other uh, enemies was, like, almost done. He was clearly yeah. trying to get to him, but he was, the, the guy was behind his other yeah. one. Lured him out, and his teammate just came with a finisher. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Yeah, there are a lot of great <laughs> moments in this. Oh, and it was, it was just this... <laughs> He, Matt played it so right. It was yeah. just like, I, that was two minutes of just watching Dude. him. It, was, it looked really, really intense. We have people in this office that play like Street Fighter or Marvel vs. Capcom all the time. And when you, obviously, it's a fighting game. You can watch and notice when someone's good as opposed to just button mashing. And this is very much a fighting game. If two people go up against each other brand new, they'll probably button mash. And I think Spencer, who's been playing this a lot in our office, says mm-hmm. it's one of those games where you have to really be patient despite right. how frenetic it looks and yeah. you have to Ooh. take the time defense is huge in this game which I love uh, it's not it looks like dynasty warriors when you're going up against creeps uh, but when you again when you go up against a hero right here just out of nowhere I love the feeling of being like plowing through creeps and trying to push that front and then all of a sudden a hero comes in over you're like fuck this right. is a whole, like, a whole different game um, it's becoming more about Wits. It's funny when you see two people that know what they're doing <laughs> going up against each other because they'll be switching their guards Right. <laughs> waiting for the other to attack. Right. So it's like uh, it's like it reminds me of the scene in the office where Dwight and Michael and Andy at the end of the the role playing game, the right. Savannah murder. Right. They're just like it's like a standoff, and you're looking at each other. I, it's, I don't know if it's gonna I happen. Oh, nothing to do with but this. You're looking like you're looking in different poses, <laughs> and it's like an interpretive dance against each other. Uh, or like the dude in Indiana Jones and uh, Raiders of Lost Ark who's flinging his sword around, and he, and he just takes out his gun and shoots him. I wish you right. could do that in this game. Well, I mean, I'm seeing some like arrows with like the samurai, right? Are those like kind of um, like cooldown like abilities you have? There are, yeah, yeah. You pick up abilities as you rank up in campaign. Uh, they're separate than multiplayer, but yeah, you get these. Uh, you can get these flags you plant that. 
heal people around you or increase attack. You can get these passive abilities uh, mapped to directional. Sorry, if they're passive, you don't need to map them. But you get these passive abilities that just increase your damage. Uh, there's mm -hmm. one on that you can map to a directional pad that just refills your health briefly. And yeah, there's it's a it is a deep game. I I want to play more of it, and it is tough to get into. It's a high learning curve for sure. But yeah. that was like my I next said, question. Yes, yeah. very very high, like especially. Now would be the time to get in, I guess. But but then well, like everyone's match, still learning. right? But then matchmaking comes into play, right? Hopefully, it, I don't know. Our review's not up yet. I have to like ask Matt Espinella, who's reviewing it, what he <laughs> thinks of the matchmaking and uh, and how they pair you up against other players of similar experience. Yeah, because my problem is always like join in with friends who are who have been playing longer than I have. Then I get into these matches I'm not prepared for. Yeah. That happened to me in Overwatch a ton. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an intimidating game for sure. But it's the fact that like Ubisoft released this and Ubisoft has. Aside from like the division hasn't had a ton of new IPs. I think this is and like a lot of them are military focused or you mm -hmm. know shooters like Far Cry. This is a great entry so far from what I've played. I mean, I've really been enjoying it. It's to be honest, it's not something I'm going to stick with right now because of so many other games coming coming out. But it is pretty creative in some great ways. And obviously, this footage is kind of showing it off. But you have these control points, these capture points. There's always something going through your head. Like oh, that was cool. It's it's one of those things where you see that there's a hero unit down there destroying your creeps. You're like, shit, should I go try to push that front or flank around behind him and get this control point to let us warp, uh, spawn in back here? It is a much more intelligent game than its, you know, bro, testosterone fueled story mode might imply, and also just how, like the marketing might imply. It's a very an intelligent game actually, and I really like how the systems play together and I'm looking forward to trying to learn a character that's like that's like the you know the hero aspect of it right trying to learn this viking and then trying to learn this samurai mm -hmm. and figuring out how this knight works I'm looking forward to that aspect if I get to play more uh but yeah I guess my recommendation jump into the story mode first and <clears throat> that'll definitely show you the ropes or if you just want trial by fire jump into multiplayer you might be way better than I was <laughs> Yeah, I I definitely want to get through the single player just to get like a better understanding of like the three different yes. classes, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's what I'm like more three different uh, factions. Factions. There, I forget how many classes. And then there are classes. There are like I think there's like oh, three, so there's three or four classes within <clears throat> factions. Correct. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah. So they'll they'll have like a a knight. The warden is two handed sword, but then they'll also have one that's faster and speedier. There are certain heroes that are female specific, certain that are male specific, and there's some that you can customize either way. Okay. Um, I know like the Valkyrie Viking with the spear is always female, and she's one of my favorite ones to play as. Uh. I love Vikings. <laughs> yes. Uh, it is. Oh, yeah. So Khalil, Khalil Walker, a while back in the YouTube chat, I wrote this down. He was asking what our favorite faction is. Uh, or Kelly, what would would it be Vikings if you had played? I mean, I just love Vikings in general because it's my actual heritage. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. cool. Like Celtic? <laughs> yeah. Same here. You're in, Rob, what are you? Uh, I got some Irish in me. Okay, cool. All right. A bunch, bunch of, of Irish people. Uh, <laughs> I like the samurai in this game. They're my, they're my faction of choice right now, the one I'm trying to learn. Well, I'm also a weeaboo, so probably would like the samurai. So just kill all the knights you see. It sounds like you you know your allegiance. Yeah. Dude, you sound really pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I don't, I don't mind the knights. Take it out on the field. <laughs> <laughs> we'll settle this in the castle. <laughs> what faction have you been playing? Uh, I actually picked samurai, um, cool. but yeah, again, like I don't know. Like I picked it to play a little multiplayer, and I was like, oh, I don't, I, all I've been playing has, is the, yeah. uh, you know, the... Vanguard yeah. Crusaders. Is there uh, some sort of a, what's the term, uh, asynchronous multiplayer in this game where like there's this constant war between the three factions? I like saw Hell Divers did. Is that because that'd be cool? It kind of looked like that. They want the to map. foster the allegiances mm -hmm. between different factions, right? I would it'd be a shame <clears> not to do that. But it looked like that same map, and I wish I knew for sure. It looked like that same map also was broken out into like game modes, right? As well, yeah. Yeah, there's Dominion. There's uh, oh, the game modes are escaping me right now, but there are some that are more uh, control based. There are some that are, you know, just w the one we one v one hero mode. Actually, once you jump into multiplayer after Damn. you play story mode, do one v one hero mode first to f figure out how. Sorry, <laughs> someone just mentioned Syracuse in the chat. Apex Penguin, <laughs> Mike Syracuse. Ignore it. Know. Keep going. <laughs> I don't know if he's in Syracuse, what? but it's weird. My hometown. Uh, keep, keep going. One sorry, one, keep one, me. One v one. Got some memories that just came flooding back. <laughs> Syracuse. That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Um, 
1v1 is a good way to get introduced to multiplayer. So then when you see a hero on the battlefield, you're not like, how the fuck do I fight them? You're like, okay, I did this <clears throat> against this one guy in that mode. Now maybe I could do it while there are creeps all around me. And then potentially one or two more people coming in. Because when you start fighting 1v2, it's so fucking badass to see someone who knows what they're doing. Like if me and my friend are hacking at this dude and he's blocking both their attacks. You like, could do that, yeah. It's like John Wick <laughs> if he was a samurai. <laughs> right. Or, or Keanu Reeves if he was a samurai, which is just the plot of 47 or, Ronin. Or Tom Cruise if he was a samurai. Or Tom Cruise if he was the last samurai. Or <laughs> a, seven dudes who were samurai in yeah. the seven samurai. Yeah. Now I get it. Um, <laughs> do you see John Wick 2 yet? No, I want to. Uh, really I really want to learn how to fight off two people at once. And then three. <laughs> and then like... And then like... And then an army. Yeah. All right. And I'm... And I'm I'm so, I want to be able to dodge bullets. I want to be able to do that move I see in this game where you like knock someone's for an execution, you knock someone's leg down and then you just do the classic cutting off of the head. Yeah. There's this one that Love doesn't that. make sense to me. The wardens. So if you kill someone you, with a heavy attack, okay. you have the choice to do an execution, square or triangle. So if you press square, it does this cool one where like it, she, the warden will just turn around and like go up through the middle of the body. Right. The heavy one, they'll grab the sword by the blade, what? stab the hilt into the shoulder, and then right. pull it. Which right. doesn't make sense to me. You have a weapon. You could puncture, maybe, right? But, but like, you also the, have a the, weapon that has a blade on it, and you're choosing... You're, you're like holding the spoon by the circular well, end and trying to eat with the hand. <laughs> See, Mike, it's more badass if you could cut your hands I when attacking. So. It's like you know, a blood oath. Yeah. This is sounding a lot like the... Uh, uh, Kylo Ren saber yeah. argument, right? <laughs> yeah. we'll have, some guy will have to make a video of like, here's a hilt with blades. <laughs> yes. We need to see that. Well, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I, the wardens aren't as well trained as they talk about. Mm. <clears throat> but anyway, For Honor's fun. Uh, it's tough. Be ready to devote some time to it if you really want to learn it, but I recommend it. Uh, Matt Espinelli's review will be up sometime soonish. He's plowing through a, like a lot of it. it seems like he's pretty high ranked by this point seems like he's pretty good uh mm -hmm. i don't want to play him because i'll get my ass kicked but mm. yeah for honor that is out now on ps4 xbox one pc so go check that out let us know what you think once you play it if you have played it let us know what you think cali plaguey on twitter rob hanley mike mahardy <laughs> <laughs>